guy has got that heavy control raw. Well, I can't contest board against Zeus. So, I mean, obviously those two are going. The only one I think about keeping is Bastet. And that's only because I'm going first. But I think he's going to find a two drop no matter what, so. Ah, man. Bastet's like one of those. Nope, because Thantos gets rid of afterlife. So, goodbye, Bastet. Draw the soul back. Okay. Um, I don't particularly want to move up and fight him. <laughs> So I think Sobek just goes in the back. We have double Kepri. So next turn's probably healed about the Sobek. So yeah. Um, Sobek's definitely being played in the back. But it also wouldn't hurt for him to be able to get to the front to deal damage. Next turn with the buff heal. Um, so one, two, three. Okay, so he needs to be able to get to here, probably. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so here or here would work. No, here is the best spot, right? Unless I think he's going low. Is he going to go low or high? Well, Zeus is uh, more about taking board control, really. So he's probably going to go high and try to kill that top stone. So I'm going to play low. him there. And I'm not going to do prop. Let's see what he has here. He's mousing over whatever he top decked, which is interesting. So maybe he flubbed on his draw. Maybe oh that wasn't his top deck, sorry. That was the coin. So he does he have a three drop that he wants to play? No. What does that even mean? So what does he have if he's not concerned about not having a board? He's got to have Thanatos then, right? He's got to have, like, Nemesis, Judgment, Thanatos, right? Because otherwise he'd be concerned about me having a board. No matter what, I think he's got a way to remove the Sobek. So he's got a way to deal a, at least two damage. So yeah, he's got he's got Nim Judgment or a Thanatos. And I think he would have played Nemesis. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a read that that's a Thanatos in his hand. Uh, regardless, I'm not gonna do anything this turn. But maybe he'll think I am. Um, one thing I don't know about Sobek passive, it's when a friendly heal is used. So I don't have to heal anything. I just have to push the button. So we're gonna move it down here because we want to stay away. And then we're gonna heal Sobek. No, we're going to heal me. Oh, can I not use it? I can't use it without damage being taken. Rip the dream. All right. That's whatever. It's good on him for not trading, basically. Yeah, he's got Thanatos, probably. Coin Thanatos. Yep. Cool, cool. It's whatever. I, I mean, we kind of expected it. So we're chilling. Um, I don't want to be on range of the Thanatos. I mean, no matter what, I'm playing Kepri, right? So where am I playing Kepri? I want to play Kepri by Raw, because then it busts my Raw. So I think I move you down. And then play the Kepri over here. Or over here. One, two, three. One. One, two. Well, okay, so most likely he's going to that stone, yeah? If I move away. So if I move here and play it here. One, two. One, two, and then one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, so I move the raw here and I play the Kepri here. That way, when he moves towards this stone, he probably will move here because I doubt he's going to stand in line. But if he does, then I can move my raw up and then move the Kepri behind the raw and then debuff and then kill the Thanatos minimally. Next turn, I have either BDK or Execute, depending on what he plays. Most likely, Execute. And bottom line, I have to kill Thanatos. That's interesting. This, what does he have? Judgment? Chaos Bone for Silence. Okay. So 
So I've just run my other execute. So the execute looks really, really tempting. Um, I think, regardless. I can't kill anything. <laughs> so I want to remove the three damage. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're just gonna execute Thanatos here. I'm gonna move the Kepri up because it's a body, right? Or do I keep it back because it could get buffed by the other Kepri? I want him to group. I want him to group because I've got the um, Gooby in hand. So I want to be in position to play the Gooby. Also want to kind of be out of range, but I also need to stay by my Kepri. Um, and poking the two three is pretty tempting, but it's irrelevant because I can kill it with Goobus anyway. So I want to move as far away as possible. Just put this down there. So he's not lined up for my Gooba. And he played that one out of Oh, nope! Goobus! Goobus going to town, baby. Goobus going to town. Let's go. That's really, really uh, good for me. This is going to be a huge tempo swing this turn. I mean, pretty much no matter what he plays. Yeah. So it's definitely Goobus. Playing him here, killing those two. Now, where do I put my raw? Do I just keep poking? I just keep poking. That's happening. <laughs> that is definitely happening. So then now, I think we just keep poking, right? I don't think there's any reason to move my leader. Okay, so what am I afraid of? What are these two mana for? I wasn't even paying attention. Um, oh, did he? No, he couldn't hear about. What did he do? That's what I get. I, I'm tabbed out looking at Discord. Because I'm cocky. Do you like simple works? Oh, wait. There's a thing. There's a thing. I know what he did. Oh, Divine Intervention. Thur, that's two mana for a Greek deck. <laughs> I play this game. I know what it means. Well, he's played the Scylla? Which I don't understand in the slightest. Not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I can just win the race, right? So I've got seven mana. So I probably just want to play Kepri and heal the stone. Like, I don't see anything wrong with that. What are my other options? My other options are actually BDK or Fenway. Fenway actually might be really strong because it doesn't um, doesn't get removed by judgment. It does get removed by Thanatos though. And I don't particularly want to see a Thanatos over here. He's already played one Thanatos. And this sets up one two turn lethal. So Fenway it is. I win in two turns if he can't remove. And he can't judgment before two. With Fenway. 
and he will lose the race on the stones. Of course, the other reason that he played Scylla could have been that he's going to... Okay, no. I was gonna, uh, I'm trying to think of reasons to play the Scylla. It's the judgment into the Scylla now kills the four... No. He's going to tank four damage. He still loses this race, right? I'm pretty sure I just execute the four five. Which then leaves me three mana to play with. So then do I just Magma Slam the Scylla? Because why not? Could Magma Slam Zeus as well, actually. You're dying. So now my options are either Magma Slam the Scylla, or I play a Sobek. Does the Sobek set up another fast or lethal? Because right now I've got 4 damage going in, which puts it at 5. So next turn it's dead either way. This is just a way to ensure that he doesn't do anything to me. Or puts it at 4 next turn, which means it's dead in 2 turns anyway. And I'm not concerned about him killing the stones. Oh, I should have moved for the Athena. That's that's really stupid. Now I use my execute when he's got an Athena on board. I might actually just throw in that. I didn't even think about Athena. That was really dumb. It's okay. Um, pretty sure I just play a lot of stuff, right? I've got nine mana, so a four and a five. doesn't kill my leader unless he has another Athena, and neither of those will remove those. So then, we just surround the summoning stone. We push the damage because I've got um, that's, the Kepri does one, putting at seven, buffing you to five is down to two means one and there's no real damage to no real reason to hurt the Athena the one damage could be relevant essentially especially with the divine intervention being played I should have known that he would have had an Athena in hand so he's probably also got a Hades yeah which is why I'm I'm backed up against the uh, the wall here. So if he summons the Hades, the most he can do is push my raw, which is pretty irrelevant. And if he spawns anything here, it just gets BDK'd. Ha! Teleport. Okay, that's fine. I mean, if he moves this Zeus there, I can kill. I can kill the Zeus now, so whatever. I can live with that. He's gonna remove the rock, probably. Fair play. Protect doesn't stack. Should have kissed the, uh... The Athena, honestly. It's okay. I've got I've got a lot of late game in this deck. Regardless, you are killing Zeus. I think I want the heal on board, which is six mana used, which means I play the best at right. Or do I Sobek for value? I think Sobek for value is the correct play. So I'm gonna play the raw up here because I want to mana danger. I'm gonna play the Sobek. Here, because I want to buff, but I want to relevant on the bottom left, bottom side. And then we're going to heal up this stone here. Do I heal up? No, heal up this stone. Next turn, I've got 10 mana play. Fast at Fenway, heal. Oh, I forgot about my Kepri. I'm really dumb. <laughs> I legitimately forgot it existed. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it, 
So he's going to do one damage. The last breath's a really good draw. Is there any way I can be more selective on which targets it hits? No. Okay. Hit one. I, I, obviously, Ares Athena would have been the best, but hitting one of them is really all I need. Um, then I think I play the Bastet so I can heal. Because he's got to come to me at this point. Because I've got late game in the bag. And I've got fatigue on him as well. Not that I think this game will go to fatigue. So I play the Bastet up. He's still out of range. And then we pop the heal on the other stone. Move him BDK. We want to play around Athena. So Ra's going to move back. BDK is going to move down. Silver's going to stay where he is. This way is Athena can't hit more than two valuable things at once. Actually can hit three by going here. But I'm okay with that. It's the best it could have done. Don't think the one damage from Afro is gonna. Oh, it's Cyanidoom. Okay, whatever. I'm okay with having kitties on board. It means he gets a little more value out of the Athena that's gonna die, but that's okay. Pretty sure I just win this game all the time based on sustain. I don't have appeasement in this deck, so those cats are just body blockers. Phantom Grass he is huge. Don't even have to think about that. I want to Phantom Grass the 4-7. It's a big body. It's in the front line. It's exactly where I want it to be. Okay, that's huge. Um, no reason for me to hurt my BDK. I'm remove the two attack. Big cliff that character there. You aren't going to do any damage anyway. Um, you are going to heal. I don't need him in the corner right now. Um, considering healing the force 7. No, that I want to kind of play around Nemesis, right? So those numbers are both really good for Nemesis. He's got three damage on board right now. So regardless, he kills the BDK if he's got a Nem. If I move it up into range. So I don't move it up into range, right? So I heal you. And move the Sobek up. Uh, BDK is going to move up, though, just because it, it's not doing anything sitting in my back line. If he's got the exact tools to remove it with the Nemesis, then he's got the tools to remove it. I don't think he does. I think he would have played Nemesis a lot earlier, which means he only has a 1 in 10. He has a 10% chance, 20% chance of having the Nemesis. More fire in okay. So he's going to remove the BDK, which is obviously good for him. But I've got a 4-8 walk in his face as well, so... Back himself into a corner. This is actually a pretty easy thing to do to back yourself in this corner, but all it means is that these two units can just body block you in. It's kind of tricky. He's got his own BDK, which is fine. I can remove it. Oh, that's the draw. And I think I win the game. Right? Oh, wait. I'm out of range. I can count. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad I didn't already commit to it. Well, I think either way, the cat's going to stone. Uh, Sobek's moving up. And then you are going to kill the BDK. And be healed by Ra. So now I've got a 5-7 Sobek. Pretty insane. He needs pretty much exactly Nemesis Judgment. And even that's not going to save him. He needs to body block. 
Ares is actually somewhat pretty good, um, but he can't kill the Sobek, so the Sobek just wins me the game. And actually, he should have left the cat alive. Well, actually, it didn't matter. And that doesn't matter either, because I still have 5 damage. So. GG. Misplayed with the Kepri, but turned out never punished. Um, and take that game there. Let's go raw value, man.